Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the ch channel. Okay, thank you so much. You could have been anywhere else tonight, but you decided to come on over here and see what Deb doing. I know that's right. Show up and show out on my ass, all right? So we throwing confetti up in the air, and it's hitting the floor because we have great supporters over here. Yes, we do. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please do so. And then you can go watch me on my other uh, format um, where I make videos as well on Deb Chanel's 48th World. Get on over there. Get into it. That's all we have. We just like to do it like that. Okay? Got to do it, do it, do it. Do it. That's why we're doing it another time. Trying to get this channel monetized. But everything over here, we have to put the disclaimer out that we're just talking. We're just having a conversation amongst family members. Everything over here is alleged. Unless we tell you we have facts. It's an exclusive. And I got the tea. Okay? And I got the receipts to back it up. But normally 99.9% .9 of the time, we are over here talking shit. Pretty much. That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. Having a conversation, drinking water. <clears throat> Had to give me a little sweet. <clears throat> My throat was kind of going dry. Y'all know I suffer from allergies. <clears throat> but I do understand y'all don't want to. Or some of y'all, I should say. My fellow weather family members don't like me sniffling on my videos. Sometimes I just can't help it, okay? It's just what it is. But anyway, I just want to let y'all know. I, 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 ch I checked myself. I said, okay, all right. That may be offensive to some, not to others. But it is what it is, right? But we got, uh, yeah, Pete over here. He is cussing out somebody on voicemail now. I never thought anybody would do this with this particular subject. But he is cussing out somebody from Peter about them getting on him about not adopting a Daho. Okay? Well, I like to call them family members. Because like I said, they breed, they eat, they shed blood. They have to be operated on. They have to have, uh, well, they don't have to, but it would be nice for you to have insurance on them. Death insurance as well as um, we call it medical insurance. You go take them to the vet to get shots. I mean, I'm like, where I need a social security number. Well, it's not my uh furry family member; it's my daughter's. But he hang around me like it ain't nobody's business. I guess because he know I miss my son, my furry son. <sighs> yeah, we don't even want to talk about. It. I don't want to get teary eyed. I don't want to get teary eyed. But Pete is checking somebody at the Peter organization. Yes, he did. He left a very well explicit ugh, voicemail for one of the uh, work workers out there where I guess he was trying to adopt a dog. And he was like, well, let me say for a friend, a family member. And he decided not to on that particular breed because he had a certain breed that he wasn't allergic to. So... I guess the girl was giving him a hard time, or he was just feeling himself that day, and he was just all in his emotions, I guess. But um, we got an uh, exclusive from um, TMZ, all right, on Mr. Pete Davidson, and, uh, you know, staff reporter wrote it. Usually, TMZ don't give their um, coat, well, their employees the rights that they, you know, did an article. They always just say staff employee. Okay, so it was brought out today, and the exclusive read, Pete Davidson leaves Peter unhinged voicemail, and they used the F word, or he used the F word, and he said, suck my, you know what I'm saying, where your imagination going, it's on a man, he pee with it, he enter a woman with it, so y'all get where I'm going, okay, but uh, it says Pete Davidson is going to war with P uh, Peter, over the new dog he bought, and he fired the latest shot via a profanity lace voicemail for the animal rights group, a move he doesn't regret, but says came from a place of grief. <coughs> so you agree then? 
like feeling some kind of way, and you took it out on a worker, is what you're telling me? Pete, I think you need to go buy that girl lunch, give her a gift card for lunch, dinner, and breakfast, and then turn around and give her a basket, one of them edible baskets, because you full of shit. You don't go around cussing nobody out just because they say something that you may not like or whatnot. Though, I will have to wonder what she said. Told her, you know, I'm nose as hell. But they don't put that in there. We don't got that information. All right. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, Peter says the actor left a heated message Monday for the organization's senior vice president of cruelty investigations. Daph- what did he say? Daphna? Uh, I can't pronounce the last word. It looked like it's Russian. It's spelled N-A-C-H-M-I-N-O-V-I-T-C-H. Okay. He got her name because she issued a statement to TMZ expressing Peter's collective disappointment in Pete buying a puppy at an NYC pet store instead of adopting from a shelter. Now, you know what? That's a crime and a shame. That's a crime and a shame that you can't take your money and get it where you want to give it to, whether it be a pet store or it be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a humane society. Everybody don't want no uh, dog that somebody else had. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like a car or a house. You want a particular furry friend family member versus what they have on stock. You see what I'm saying? It's like buying a used car and getting a brand new one. That's as far as an analogy I can bring it home to you all. Now, they ain't have no business calling Pete out like that. But Pete didn't have no business leaving a profanity-laced type of email or voicemail. Both of them were wrong, Both, but more so Pete was wrong because he should have been a bigger person. He should have just said, well, you know what? I don't know how Tim's he got it, but take my side of the matter. And we would have just did it like that because it wasn't no need of throwing salt on salt. You know what I'm saying? Salt give us flavor in our food. But we don't want no flavor in no argument. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you dipping and dabbing. You know, trying to make your own recipe over there. We already got one that we need to use. That was already made for us to use. But that's my sidebar. We're going to go back. It says on the voicemail, Pete announces himself and says he's responding to Daphna statement, which he calls uneducated and premature. He notes he's allergic to dogs, as his rep told us that, and that's why he had to get a is it uh, Kavapu, a nearly hypoallergenic breed because they don't shed. He also says the dog is for his mother, whose previous pup just died. Then comes an explicit lace. Oh, Lord, tirade might rival Christian Bale, not really, though, in which he angrily tells Daphna to do her research before talking to the media, drop an F-bomb, and make a vulgar suggestion avoiding his penis. Okay? That's, that's kind of vulgar, Chris. I mean, yeah. I mean, Pete, that's kind of vulgar. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. It says, Peter isn't backing down. Though telling TMZ if Pete had done his research, he would know that there's no such thing as a hyperallergenic dog, that at least a quarter of dogs in shelters are pre-bred, and that Pet Finder has listings for homeless dogs on every breed under the sun, including the one he purchased. We can we, we contacted Pete about his furious voicemail, and he admits he was unaware he could adopt a specific hypoallergenic dog, he says. He was told it wasn't an option, and if it was, it, would, it was rare. Now, I understand that, because sometimes you might be looking for a particular dog, and that dog may have a little bit more life, uh, what do you call it? The life expectancy may be a little bit too short. Than what you really want to do. Because you, you really don't want no real age dog. Because then you got to go through the arthritis they're going to have. The loose stools they're going to have. It, you don't have no time to enjoy them. I personally believe you should get a infant. Okay. A, a, a small. Just six or eight weeks old. So they could get into you. And you could get into them. And you know y'all have a long. A, a lengthy time to share with each other. Called life together. You know what I'm saying. 
But uh, going back to the article, it says, as for his anger, he addressed that by emphasizing his family was really going through it after his mother's dog had died. I haven't seen my mom and sister cry like that in over 20 years. I was trying to cheer up my family. I was already upset that the store had filmed me without my permission or acknowledgement. Then this organization, PETA, made a public example of us making our grieving situation worse. I am upset. It was a poor choice of words. I shouldn't have said what I said, but I am not sorry for standing up for myself and my family. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Prior to Pete's offering that explanation, Peter told us our hearts go out to the Davidson family for the loss of their dog. But Pete must know in his heart that there's no excuse for buying a dog and propping up puppy meal industry when millions of dollars are waiting loving homes and shelters and we hope he'll do we, we and we hope he'll do the right thing and adopt next time okay it's it's clear neither side is blinking in the shop uh, the blinking in the shop versus adopt a dog debate they sure ain't all them are head strong they said forget that mess I'm going to defend my position I'm going to defend it well Excuse me, y'all. Um, <laughs> woo, that's that, that's something else, though. That, that, that's a little bit something. I was gonna play it for you guys. Um, once I find it, let me see if I can pick up. Uh-huh. Oh, please. Davidson, this message is for Dap now. Um, the team, uh, thank you so much for making comments publicly that I didn't adopt a dog. I just want to let you know I'm severely allergic to dogs so I have to get a specific breed. I'm only not allergic to cavapoos and those type of dogs. And my mom's dog, who was two years old, died a week prior and we're all so sad so I had to get a specific dog. So I want to create news stories for people because you're a boring, tired you and suck my dick. Hi, my name is Pete Davidson. This message is for Dad now. Um, the scene. Uh, thank you so much for making comments publicly that I didn't adopt a dog. I just want to let you know I'm severely allergic to dogs, so I have to get a specific breed. I'm only not allergic to cavapoos and those type of dogs. And my mom's dog who was two years old died a week prior and we're all so sad so I had to get a specific dog so why don't you do your research before you f-ing create news stories for people because you're a boring tired f- f- you and suck my d- and this message hi my name is Pete Davidson this message is for Dad now um, the scene. Uh, thank you so much for making comments publicly that I didn't adopt a dog. I just want to let you know I'm severely allergic to dogs, so I have to get a specific breed. I'm only not allergic to cavapoos and those type of dogs. And my mom's dog, who was two years old, died a week prior, and we're all so sad, so I had to get a specific dog. So why don't you do your research before you f***ing create news stories for people because you're a boring, tired f***. F*** you and suck my d***. End this message. Now, was he right in saying all that shit? Hell no. No, no, he sure was. He should be fine. He should be fine. We should take some money from him for being so cruel and, and obnoxious to that woman who was trying to say, it. Wh- why don't we clean up America and get some of these dogs that need homes versus going to a breeder and getting one? You know, that's all she was trying to say. But she missed so, she, she overstepped her boundaries. She really did. Because like I said, some people just want the brand newborns, you know, that they can grow with the family and all that good stuff. So I'm like, Pete, was your mama what, uh furry um uh, baby? Were they sick or something? Because usually dogs don't die at two years old. But then again, stranger things have happened. Good night.